Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sally's Recipe of the Week, brought to you by Doors Italian Market and Bakery. Welcome to Casa de Mo and Sally. And I'm very excited about tonight's dinner because I haven't made sea bass in a very, very long time. And uh, I just noticed that Doris had sea bass medallions on sale. So um, this is a pretty expensive fish. So when you can get it for under $10 a pound, <laughs> that's really, really good. Um, you can also make this recipe like with an entire, you know, fillet. you don't have to, you don't have to use the medallions, but since the medallions were on sale and I wanted to cook sea bass, that's what I got. So, Mo, you're excited about tonight's wine, aren't you? Yes, I am. We had an expert help us figure out. Uh, Jake, the wine guy <laughs> yeah. at Doris Italian Market, uh, you know, we were talking to him today. He's a great guy. And uh, this is wine, that's for sure. Uh, we said we were making these, well, Sally is making the sea bass medallions. And it's going to be in a tomato sauce. And that sounds kind of weird to have fish in a tomato sauce. But actually, it's not if you think about it. So I would have never, I would have never guessed this. We said, what would be good with sea bass medallions? In a garlicky tomato sauce. And he said, well, you're going to have to have a really heavy white wine mm -hmm. or a light red wine and so we went with the light red wine i'll show you what we went with no, no, oh okay so okay all right so. hi curtis how are you <laughs> i'm good how are you curtis, do you do you like sea bass or you're not a big fish person are you no okay well then i'm not going to bring you any tomorrow okay <laughs> my ass is but already in trouble to eat his slice of pizza so we can bring that up you're giving my pizza to Curtis? Yeah, let's do that. I like that. <laughs> Hi, Don. Hi, Karen. Yes, it's Wednesday. We're cooking today, Karen, because uh, I'm playing in a golf tournament tomorrow. Someone thinks they're important and has to play golf. Shut up. <laughs> I was invited to play in a golf tournament. Between <laughs> these little medallions with salt and pepper on both sides. Hi, Rita. And I've got my pan on. I'm going to heat up some... Uh, bear, bear, bear says hi guys. Snow is all gone. It's I saw already melted. I saw the video you posted, uh, bear, uh, this morning outside of your porch. Oh my god, that just looked like it was full on winter. Really? Hi, Tina. Hi, Love Tina. you back. Love you back, Tina. These are the sea bass medallions. medallions. Oh, oh, we ain't got no more pepper. That's a tragedy. Hi, I got, Gordon. I got lots of pepper. Give me just one second. Karen's loving this weather. I knew that already, Karen. I can't wait for it to get hot again. <laughs> Hi, Joey. Yeah, it. Uh, I walked outside a few minutes ago, and I was like, it's like straight up winter in South Florida right now. For us, it is. Jane, you got medallions as well? You went the doors? Do what? Jane said, hi, I got my medallions today, so I'm asking if she went to Doors. Jane, was that was you that we Jane, saw we walking out of uh, walking out of Doors today? Was that you? I mean, I got my glasses on, but I can't see that profile pic. I mean, it's pretty small on my screen, so. All right, salt and pepper. Oh, and by the way, I, um, I let the sea bass, just kind of like how we do with steak, I let it kind of get to room temperature. If you if you try to cook this when it's still ice cold, it just it doesn't cook as well. So you know, let it let it sit out. You know, obviously, you don't want to let it sit out too long, but you don't want it ice cold. This is just a uh, regular old flour, all-purpose flour. I don't have this on the recipe, which, by the way, I did remember to post. Um, but I did add just a touch of cayenne pepper to that, and it doesn't really give it heat. It just gives it some flavor. So we're just going to throw these guys into our flour. Let them coat, pop them back up on the board. Jane says that was at about 3 p.m. Nope, that wouldn't have been, that wouldn't uh, have been you because we were there. We saw someone uh, who is a fan of the uh, cooking show yeah. walk it out of doors, yeah. But that was yeah. around uh, 12 30, 1 o'clock, yeah, 12 30, I guess. Karen says Steve is doing his weather from uh, Bender's Farm Pumpkin Patch tonight, oh, very fallish. Well, Jane, if you got your medallions, uh, there is the recipe right there in the feed. Uh, Curtis just popped it up. 
if you want to get the recipe and uh, and cook along with Sally. And you know what? If, if if you know if you don't want to use sea bass, halibut would work. And again, it doesn't have to be medallions. Also, um, a lot of people I know tilapia would work as well. Just a flaky white fish. But I took advantage of the sale on medallions. So we're just lightly coating them with flour. See, I'm kind of shaking off the excess. All right. And I'm doing this first. So while the sauce is cooking, we can talk about our wine and cheese. Okay, Mo, that's why I stopped you. Okay, whatever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go over to the... All right, you switching cameras now? All right, we're going to the pan cam. Ooh, ah. Uh. That's just olive oil, and I forgot to put newspaper down, so. <gasps> oh, it, Jesus. It means I'm going to have to. No, it's yeah, clean up. You clean the kitchen, and then after that, you come over here and clean my house, please. I'm not cleaning the house. <laughs> yeah, Curtis <laughs> needs you to clean his house. I know his parents are coming this weekend. Yeah. I got stuff to do. I got. Oh, now all of a sudden you can't clean? Uh, I got my own shit to clean. And I got golf to play. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got people to see. We're going to set these down a little, just olive oil, salt, pepper, flour, olive oil. That's it. Mm -hmm. uh, while, while that's, uh, you know, going on right there, I'm going to let you know that uh, oh, okay. this okay. is going on too. I'll just read this. Uh, Doris says, make Thanksgiving gourmet the easy way. You can do a traditional package, a supreme package, or a spiral ham package. Uh, I mean, this is how you feed your family without cooking all day. I mean, you can do turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, dinner rolls, cranberry sauce, and they have all kinds of packages here. Anything from like 180 to 280, and it serves 8 to 10 people. Well, you can serve 6 to 8 people, 14 to 16 people, or you can serve 8 to 10 people. Or 1 to 3 uh, really uh, hungry peoples. Yeah, like, so Curtis, you would get the, okay, let's see, you could do the serve six to eight people, and that would last you about two days. That's exactly right. <laughs> well, they have side dishes like uh, candied yams, mashed potatoes, green bean, almondine. Oh, I love that. Herb stuffing, which I love. Sausage stuffing, which I love. And turkey gravy, which love. I love. Yeah, they got all this stuff, and it's fantastic. So if you want to do Thanksgiving, but you don't want to work, you know, slave away all day, you know, uh, over a stove, then uh, you can go to Doris and uh, get your gourmet Thanksgiving dish. All right. Once again, just the medallions are over about a little medium high heat. You don't want it, but you want, what we want to do is we want just to get a, like a golden crust on them. And if they're not completely cooked through, that's okay because we're going to make a sauce and we're going to pop them back in the sauce where they can finish cooking. And they'll cook some more. Yeah, they will. They'll cook a little more. And I made a little side dish. I just made some uh, feta cheese with a little bit of arugula and Parmesan cheese and garlic. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Yeah, just kind of, because this is going to be the medallions, the sea bass medallions are going to be in a tomato sauce. And I got crushed tomatoes. Oh, are we here? You're on that camera. Okay, I got crushed tomatoes. And this sauce has very few ingredients. And, and my advice is if you're doing a sauce that doesn't have a whole lot of ingredients, you know, make sure you, you buy a really good crushed tomato in the can. Don't don't go the cheap route because, you know, spend, spend the extra 80 cents or whatever and, and get the really good stuff. This is, this is really good stuff. Really good. And they sell in stores. Let's take a peek. Jane says uh, Doris got big portions. Do what? Jane says Doris has big portions. Oh, with their uh, gourmet dinners? Yeah. Oh, really? We uh, talked to Jake today. Uh, their wine event on Saturday night was a huge success. They sold out. They did sell out. Uh, I think they actually broke a record or something like that. Oh, uh, for sales? For sales, mm -hmm. like, like 300 people there. Uh, they wow. do about four, sometimes five events like that a year at Doors uh, in North Palm Beach. Yeah. We got to go to one. We definitely do. All right, so I'm just checking my fish. See how it's starting to get a little golden crust on there? Not quite where I want it. And if you have to add a little extra olive oil, that's fine. If you feel like putting a little butter in there, that's fine too. I put there's butter in my noodles. So I'm just using I'm just using olive oil here. I'm gonna turn up the heat just a little bit. 
But I didn't put the newspaper down because it's not splashing that much. Mm-hmm. I would splash some just on principle. I uh, know yeah, Curtis would, yeah. He just <laughs> he he would pour some of the grease out or whatever that oil is on the stove. Just it's olive oil. Yeah. It's just extra virgin olive oil. He'd be like Karen Weagle just pouring out all my wine corks on the floor. That was Karen says she just found her wine card today. Oh, that's right. You just Karen, found she, your wine card? She has a wine card from when we went. When are you going to come join us and uh, drink yeah. wine and shop? And Scott is proposing that we do a contest and then the winner gets to have Sally cook for them. That's uh, a great idea. Okay. <laughs> Does Sally think so? <laughs> I, get, I don't know. I get nervous. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Should we do it for charity? Good. We could auction off a dinner at Casa de Mo and Sally and do it on Facebook Live. Yeah, a brand new kitchen. Curtis could be here uh, making espresso martinis. What now? Uh, I thought you liked espresso martinis. That doesn't mean I know how to make them. Well, you better be learning. The hell? Google it. I get? You got to Google it. I mean, I, I get somebody, looked into this. Somebody's got to hold the camera. That's me. All right, see how that's nice and golden brown? Which camera are we on? We're on this camera. Okay. I got to eat the cheese and yeah, pour that, the wine. We're doing that next. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Can you see that nice little crust on yeah. there? Um, about three minutes aside, and, and again, like I said, some of these thicker pieces I'll probably leave on just a little bit longer, but these thinner ones are going to be fine because we're going to stick them in the sauce and let them cook up a little bit more. But the great thing about sea bass is it doesn't need a lot it's just a delicious fish mm -hmm. all right so you want to go check out the wine all right uh, going to the uh the wine and cheese cam so the wine that we're having and this is what jake suggested is to do a light red this is caldora and uh i know jake uh, told me how to pronounce this but uh no not even going to try monte Pugliano. Oh, uh, that's pretty. That might be pretty close. Monte Pucciano. Monte Pucciano, maybe. That's pretty close, Curtis. Good, it, good job. It, I know it looks dark red, but it's it's a lighter kind of red. It's a lighter that's red. What he suggested with what we're having for dinner is yes. a light red or, or a heavy, heavy white. white. Yeah, and we we're we're kind of not into the heavy whites. Yeah. But, so what is this here? Okay, so remember a couple of weeks ago, I said, let's try out some um, goat cheese because mm -hmm. we hadn't had that. Mm -hmm. And I got the jalapeno goat cheese. Mm -hmm. and, um, it yeah, <laughs> set everybody on fire. I, I actually liked it, but it was hot. So I'm giving goat cheese a second chance. Um, this is a, just an herb goat cheese. They've got, they've got so many different kinds. Um, you can get the jalapeno. You can get the herbs. They've got some with fruit in them. Um, but I let it sit out because you want it nice and soft. Just a little schmear. There you go. Thank you. And goat cheese is tangy. It's tangier than cow's milk cheese. But this is not spicy. This is just herby. What do you think, though? Mm hmm I like it. It's not killing me. Mm -hmm. It's not killing me. That's good. But it, it, it does is, have a tang. It is tangy. Mm -hmm. Let's try it with a wine. Uh, this was like four dollars. Was this wine on sale? No, this wine's not, not expensive at all. No, it's not expensive. It's like what twelve dollars? Maybe twelve dollars. Well, I think it's twelve dollars. Yeah. But the sea bass is on sale. I can tell you. All right, I'm gonna go. Let's go back to Pan Cam. Pan Cam. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, do you hear Curtis? Oh my God. Curtis, Curtis had to hit a button. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, no, this stovetop looks like it's getting pretty messy to me. Oh, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to put the newspaper down. There we go. Nice and golden. Look at that. Yeah, I'll let some of these thicker ones hang out for just another minute. Again, you can do this with, um, you know, a filet. You don't have to do the little nuggets. Just do it with halibut. 
you could do it. Mike says he's like getting that. hungry. I like that. I like hearing that. All right. So we just take these out and we're going to set these aside. And then add some more pan. So we're going in the same pan? Yeah, why not? Some garlic. Finely chopped up garlic. And you know, garlic burns pretty easy. So I'm going to turn the heat back. I'm going to stir it around. And once you start smelling it, that means you need to start adding some other stuff to it. So my see that? Board. <laughs> crushed tomatoes. Oh my God, this is going to splatter everywhere. I'll be up on I'll be up on this damn counter with a mat with a mop. That's it. I should have put the paper down. I forgot to. Well, good thing Eric says that Mo can clean it once Ali's finished. Yeah, of course he can. I'm give him something to do. Um, so a can of crushed tomatoes. Damn you, Eric. And in the recipe, I I would I said use a half a cup of white wine, mm -hmm. or you can use water, or you can use uh, chicken stock or chicken broth. I would probably have done white wine, but I had one of these open and it has about a half a cup left in it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to use the chicken, but if this wasn't already open, I would have used white wine. How much white wine? Half a cup. Recipes on the blog. <laughs> look at all this. Look, look at this. Oh my God. It's all gone. It's a... See what I have to put up with? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, Jim, they did wine and cheese already. Yeah, oh. but we'll go back to it because this has got to simmer for a minute. Um, about a tablespoon or a little more fresh chopped up parsley. I love parsley. I'm going to pop that in there. It smells really good. And of course, salt and pepper. And I always have a little bit of sugar on standby when I'm making a tomato sauce because sometimes it just needs a little, and I mean a little hint of sugar. Cheryl's telling me to relax. And uh, I'm gonna relax. I'm gonna drink Sally's wine. <laughs> look at how the big, the, look at that, look at this huge glass of wine she has. And if you want, and we want a few red pepper flakes, this is optional. Again, this isn't really supposed to be a spicy dish. You just want it nice and fresh. And then you just kind of look Curtis, like do you ever cook fish? No. <laughs> he sounds appalled. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> I'm just, just thinking there might be a piece of fish you like, but I guess not. No, you don't like any fish? Uh-uh. Right. Mary Lou O'Connor says, Sally, you're a saint. Just saying. <laughs> I, think that's a, I think that's a shot at me. I'm sure it's a shot at you. All right. I got a little tasting spoon here. Hi, Kim. Give it a taste. I mean, I, I can be fun. <laughs> wow, I love how that guy is really deathly quiet. Holy. All right. Cheryl says, I can understand why she needs a large glass of wine. You know what, Cheryl? I'm drinking her wine right now. All right. It does need a little more salt. And I am going to add a little bit of sugar. Not a lot, but the sugar does definitely bring out some of the sweetness of the tomato. Is that what the sugar does? Mm -hmm. you, you know, there's, in a lot of jarred sauces, there's some type of a sugar. I'm just adding. And this is just a packet of sugar. It's a teaspoon. Oh, that's bubbling nice. And we're going to put fish in this sauce. Mm -hmm. Once it thickens up, just so Curtis, bit. do you think you would like fish better if it was in a red sauce? No. Or, nope. No, it's not. Please. Okay. I'm just I'm asking. I'm not going to try to change you, Curtis. Ooh, that smells. Ooh, that is potent. There's a lot of garlic in there. You and I like garlic, though. Yeah, that's what uh, Jake asked us today at uh, Doris. He was like, what's the garlic going to be like? Like heavy garlic, heavy. and he was like, mm, okay, good to know. It makes a difference when you have a heavy garlic in a dish. I mean, I, I learned a little bit today about wine. Um, We're thinking about maybe, you know, Jake's going to check into it, but having Jake over to the house so he can 
kind of feature the wine. Feature the wine and talk more knowledgeable yeah. about wine than, than us. Besides <laughs> being like, mm, yummy. <laughs> yeah, instead of us uh, pronouncing stuff wrong, like uh, this is a Merlot, uh, you know, from uh, this is a chandelier that we this really is a like. yeah, this is a chandelier <laughs> or a Chardonnay or whatever. This is a Merlot from uh, Napa, California. He'll he'll be uh, much more uh, knowledgeable. Yes. All right. So our beautiful He's going right in now. Bass is going to go in. Yep. Just like that. Ooh, big boy. So I don't know if you guys can hear it, but that's bubbling up like it's some sort of witch's, Halloween witch's brew. cauldron witch's brew. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got. Uh oh. You, I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, there. Uh oh. Hang on. Yeah, oh, it will be okay, oh, sir. Oh, it will be fine. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, this is going everywhere. <laughs> you, your choices are to calm down and you get to eat or. Uh, <laughs> You get to freak out, but then you don't get no food. I'll be that, eating that one slice of pizza I bought today. <laughs> so that's just going to sit for just a few minutes. All right, so let's go back to the wine and cheese. Okay. Cheese cam. All right, some of y'all are the, the, getting on me about this not fish thing. No, I don't eat fish. Yeah, I'll eat, I eat seafood. Yeah, you like but, shrimp. But not fish. That's right. So we're doing a... Uh, it's a goat cheese. Garlic and herb goat cheese. Just on these little crackers here, mm -hmm. and uh, it's tangy. It's very tangy. It is. I like the herbs. Uh, we, we we brought some home a couple of weeks ago to feature, and I I bought the jalapenos, so I thought that would be the heat would be a nice you know balance with the tang of the goat cheese. It was too hot, even for me. It was pretty hot, <laughs> but this is nice and creamy. And I like hot. Well, All right. you yep, you can pour me some wine. Bear is suggesting we get Mo either some Xanax or some Snickers. <laughs> I vote for Xanax. And the Honda Classic Ambassador's glass. Oh, well, did you see that? And the Honda Classic Ambassador cutting board. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty much sponsored by the Honda Classic. Mm -hmm. So this wine is Caldora. How did you say it, Curtis? Monte I'm guessing Monte Pucciano. Monte Pucciano. I don't know what that other word is. De, and de Brutzel, uh, de Brutzel. Jake suggested this because it's a light red wine, and he said it would go great with uh, the fish and the red sauce. Hey, how you doing, Eddie? Hello, Eddie. He's trying to break in. Yeah, he's wondering what our gate code is so he can break in. Hi, Kim. Cheryl, give me nine kinds of crap up in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dawn's just like you, Curtis. Uh, she, she's, uh, she's all for shellfish, but not fish. Interesting. That's right. Yeah, so Jim, you can get the recipe in the feed there. Curtis has put it up in the feed or at 1055online.com. She's making uh, sea bass medallions tonight. Something's going off. Some sort of alarm's going off. Hello, Wendy. No, that's just because I'm standing too close to it. Yeah, you can walk by that damn stove and some alarms will go off. Yeah. Mike Marzigliano, Big Poppy. Oh, look at look at Mike in here. He, he now Mike would know how to say it because he knows how to spell it, Monte Pucciano or whatever. He's like love the fish and also the Monte Pucciano. I, I have no idea if I'm saying that right. It's good though. Hi, Wendy. Yeah, it's not expensive. Wendy says it's been a while. Where you been, Wendy? Hi, Wendy. Oh, this is all done. Yep. I would have let um I would have let this sauce cook just a little bit more, but for time's sake, I I went ahead and plated. Cause it'll get a little bit thicker the longer you let it cook but uh, and i just made some simple fettuccine with arugula butter and parmesan for the side dish you could serve this with rice if you wanted to um risotto would be nice really it's whatever you like and here we go see that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It's so fresh and so light. And like I said, sea bass is just one of those pieces of fish. It doesn't need much help. It's so delicious. Not a heavy dish. Mm-mm. Ready, Mo? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm on. It's not going to burn my baby mouth, no, is it? Mouth. Let me taste it with the wine that Jake recommended. Maureen, where'd you move to? Oh, Lord. Isn't that good? Mmm. Curtis, you don't know what you're missing. I might. <laughs> yeah, That's fantastic. Serve, serve this with whatever you like. Um, you could put it on top of like wilted spinach if you wanted to keep it even lighter, or or just just have the fish and the sauce. You don't even have to have like a, a starch. So good. It is. It's so so light. good. And yeah, very that light. That sauce is so simple, right? No meat. Yeah. Try it with the wine here. Mm. Mike is asking, do you think that dish would be uh, good for a diabetic? Um, don't put that sugar in there. Then you'll be fine, right? I would, um, look, I'm not a doctor. I don't know, but I can't imagine why it wouldn't be. Damn it, Mike. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> yeah, Mike, uh, pull that recipe up and then show it to your doctor, and then that's how we can do that. Yeah, I don't have the sugar in the recipes. That's just something I do every now and then. But I tell you what, that little bit of Cajun, I'm sorry, cayenne spice in the flour doesn't make it hot. It just enhances the flavor. You don't need much. So I highly recommend No, it. this is not hot. No, not at all. Not, no, it's, it's great. It's nice and fresh. Yeah, Jim. Oh, it, you know what I forgot? What? The what? I forgot You forgot what? Basil. Basil. Yeah. It's an I herb. He don't care about herbs. He don't know. Uh, I thought she said bagel. I'm like, well, why do you need a bagel? Fresh basil. Oh, you got to put it on top? Yeah. And I do that last. Maureen moved to Virginia, so she's probably cold. Who, who's in Virginia? Maureen. She moved to Virginia. She said she misses us. Oh, miss you, Maureen. Maureen? What do you know? Well, geez. Where are you at in Virginia? What part of Virginia? Eddie has never... Eating seafood a day in his life? Hey. Let's go get a hamburger. Right. Maureen says she's freezing. What part of Virginia are you in? Is it better now? Mm. Maureen's in Richmond. We were in Richmond. We lived in Burkdale, out there by Brander Mill, right? Was that what it was called? Yeah. So now I've added the Sorry about that, guys. A little little fresh basil. Yeah, I knew oh, something. I knew something, knew was something was missing. I knew something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It, it is really good. And you can, you know, again, any side dish you want, it's really up to you. But it's fresh and it's light because you don't have a whole lot of flour on there. If you um, don't like flour or, or you're gluten free, you can try rice flour. Instead of regular flour, I give that a shot. But there so you there you go. It is sea bass medallions with some pasta on the side. And it's fresh to And tomatoes. it's going great with the Caldora Montepucho. That's not right. How did you say it, Curtis? I don't remember. All right. Uh, with the Montepucciano. Montepucciano. Uh, Thank you, Jake, at Doris Italian Market for the suggestion on that. It goes great with this dish. Mm -hmm. And there you go. All right. So since today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, Throwback Thursday song battle. Throwback Thursday song battle. Uh, Curtis, are you going for a four beat? That's the goal. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. I may have to change you my can't song selection. My this just can't I may have to change my song selection. I. Forgot he's going for a four peat, mm -hmm. and we got to stop this nonsense. Stop it. Uh, so we got that. We got Stevie Nicks tickets. We have more money to give away. And um, hey, just wake up and join us uh, for a good time. We always have a good time. Absolutely. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Uh, remember, Doris Italian Market and Bakery, six locations in South Florida. We go to the one in North Palm Beach all the time. And uh, get that wine card. Uh, I'm seeing more and more people shopping with wine now. We are. Which is awesome. We're a bad influence. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we are. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, have a great night. Be safe. Love you guys.
Bye. See you in the morning. Bye.